are prints, first edition prints, of the originals that Audubon painted. John James Audubon himself would never have said that he was an artist. He would have said that he was a scientist, a naturalist really, which came later on after his passing. He would have wanted to share what he saw and he was really exploring. He was moving out across towards the west, but again, um, Lewis and Clark hadn't even made it to the west coast yet. So you're talking about land that had yet to be explored, yet to be developed, and he was discovering species of birds at the same time. He did a number of what he would call drawings. And you see them here. These are the drawings that he did. So they incorporate not only watercolor, but they incorporate pencil, crayon, um, oil painting, water, well, watercolor, pastel, etc. So I think we've counted in with the pieces that are here up to about 10 different media. So really, he's a mixed media artist, one of the first, if you could say that. He was creating them in the wild, where he was camped. Perhaps back at home he would finish the pieces, but these were all out in the wild open where he was documenting what he saw and with many, many different types of artist tools. In Reno, there's an uh, Audubon Society called the Lahontan Audubon Society. And the museum has worked together with the Lahontan Audubon Society very closely to create the collateral that we've used for this show, to develop programming, um, to look at how we can teach school children when we bring school tours through, because we know that they are the the experts on the uh, on Audubon Society and birds, and we are the experts on the pieces. And to bring those two together has been fantastic. And it's such a huge community outpouring that it's just been it's been really it's been a wonderful partnership to have. This entire collection was purchased with funds from the Dana Rose Richardson Memorial. And Dana Rose Richardson passed away early in 2010. And there was a, a huge outpouring of um, gifts in her name to the museum. And so there was a lot of thought with her family as to how those funds would be used. And instead of you know, purchasing maybe one or two pieces, the museum decided this was a show we were already looking at trying to rent, to bring in, and we decided that to really leave a lasting memory, we would purchase, and now we own these, and it's part of the Dana Rose Richardson collection at the Nevada Museum of Art, which is really special because it's a personal, there's a personal touch, and it means a lot to our community, and it means a lot to the museum to have these, and to be able to show them, and the funds, the proceeds that come from sharing this with other institutions will then go back into the fund, Dana Rose Richardson Fund, and allow us to purchase other prints in her name. It's pretty exciting.